We do a couple, a couple neat things on our blog. We start with an, a copywriting formula for our introduction. And the formula that we often use is the before-after bridge formula. So the before-after bridge, before is, is you tell someone, this is what your life is like now. The after is, this is what your life can be like. Then the bridge is, this is how you can get from there to here. So that's kind of what we use for our introduction. And that's what we found to be quite useful to kind of hook people into the article. And then once you're in the article, I like to take the assumption that people love to scan the article. So headings are hugely important. And headings are, in our case, treated as, as a lot like an outline. So you can be really creative with the headings. They're almost like additional opportunities to write headlines within the, the body of the article. We do numbered headings whenever possible. So if within a section of the post there's three or four different points that we're going to make, we'll number the heading um, before that section begins. So people kind of view that as a listicle within a post or just a, a specificity element within the post. Uh, we also like to do heading stacks. So we'll take a, an H2 heading and put an H3 heading right underneath it. So as you're scrolling through, you can kind of get the big picture, then little picture, then the actual text of that section in the paragraph form. And then at the very end, we like to wrap it up with a word that signifies the ending, so summary or conclusion. And as people scroll through, they might grab that as they, as they hit the bottom and then end it ultimately with a PS at the very end. That's one that get, tends to get a lot of eye, eyeballs on it. Mm -hmm.